Hello my friends, Yoda Killer here, and today we're going to be talking about my Wii U collection. First I want to start with the basic set, which you can see right here. It is the Japanese basic set, and what you get with it is the console, the gamepad, the AC adapter for the console, and the AC adapter for the gamepad, and an HDMI cable, the Nintendo themed HDMI cable. And with this bundle, you do not get a sensor bar, a uh, Wii remote, or any extra stuff. You get the uh, manuals with it, and that's the basic set. It's 8 gigabytes. Back before Nintendo knew that there would be a lot of updates. So it's not very easy to store, like, storage on there if you need, like, games and stuff. So let's say if you had not Mario Kart, you can't even put that completely on there. If you're having, like, the update data on the DLC. So you'd, you'd need a USB drive for that, which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So the 8GB set was actually released in North America as well. It was the only white Wii you could get the 8GB uh, the set. And this is the 32GB set right here. It is the white version. So this white version was never released in North America. With this version, you could get the console, the gamepad, the AC adapter for the console, the AC adapter for the gamepad and the Nintendo themed HDMI cable, but with this console you could also get the gamepad charger dock, which you would not get with the basic set, the play stand, which is another piece for the gamepad, and then you could get the horizontal stand, which lets you hold it up there. I didn't get to show you the basic set, but this is what this one has in it. And with this set, you didn't really get much else. You got the Nintendo Network premium bundle right here. So with the premium service, I think since it's uh, Japanese, you got a bunch of different services like the, uh, there's this thing called YNN, I do not know what that is. There's also the, there was a food channel for the Wii, you can see it on the menu that the, the Wii U has. And you also get, this is probably the most common one, the Karaoke Joy Sound, which is a Japanese uh, karaoke game, which has Mies in it actually. And yeah, you could get like a subscription towards it. And this service is obviously gone now. It actually lasted till Nintendo Network shut down in Japan. So, luckily to Japanese people, they got to play this game until shutdown. And this is the Japanese black Wii U 32 GB bundle, which is basically the same thing as the white one. You get the same items, console, gamepad, AC adapter for the console, AC adapter for the gamepad, HDMI cable, play stand, the uh, charger dock, and the the uh, horizontal stand and with this one yeah it's pretty much the same Nintendo Network Premium it's just the black version of the Wii U basically what we got in North America because we didn't get the white one well actually I want to come back to that subject we did get a white one but it was a refurbished console so it wasn't like uh, it was a official Nintendo console refurbished by them themselves but it wasn't like released in stores it was just on their page and the final normal bundle that I have is the Nintendo Network Family Edition. So this is like a family Wii U, so everybody gets it. Um, you get the Wii Remote with it, which you didn't get with any of the other bundles. The uh, sensor bar with it. And something that we don't normally see with modern day consoles, because you know they're so stingy. You get New Super Mario Bros. U with it, and Wii Party U. And then also, if you look down here, this is a Karaoke Joy Sound subscription that you get right here. I don't know if you got those premium bundle. I think you just got the application installed. And um, with this one, you basically get all the same items from the other ones. And there's a lot of extra stuff you get. So yeah, here's that. And you just get extra stuff listed on there. And then they eventually, um, this is the white version of the Nintendo Network Family Premium. And you can see like right here, I don't know if you can see it on camera of course. There is only five of them that they list on here, but there's actually two more, which come with all the same stuff, except you get Wii Fit U with it. I don't have one of those currently, but I'm thinking about getting one. And if I do get it, I'll make another video about it. And here is the Mario Kart 8 bundle, white version. You get the uh, Wii Remote, and this is too far with this one as well. And all this stuff up here is the same, but what obviously comes with it is Mario Kart. You don't get the DLC and you have to update it. And this one is actually quite old, so there's some issues. This one right here that I got actually had an issue. So when we updated it, it had a system memory corruption failure, 
So we ended up having to install it to the, S the, the actual console to the SD card, which through home group, which is unfortunate. The only people that can fix the NAND is Nintendo, unless you replace the NAND itself, which means you have to take another Wii U, which you wouldn't want to do. And yeah, this is Mario Kart 8, the uh, white bundle. There's a black version, but I don't have that one currently. And the final uh, Wii U bundle that I have in box is the uh, Pokemon Tournament one. This one, um, this one comes with, uh, not with the Sensor Bar or Wii Remote, but it comes with the Pokemon Tournament, Pokemon Tournament, excuse me, and it comes with a uh, Amiibo card, uh, Shadow Mewtwo, and then it also comes with these manuals right here. Um, when I bought this one, it did not come with the Amiibo card or the manuals, because they were missing. And on the side of it, you get pretty much all the same stuff as well. And actually, the uh, logo on the box, I can show you the Mario Kart one all. Yeah, this one has the uh, U, looks really cool. And it's got, uh, down here, something that you probably don't notice. The green, red, and blue. Which I'm guessing is referencing the original Pokemon games, which were green, red, and blue. Only we got blue in uh, America, and uh, well, we got, I think they got blue in... Japan, but it was like a different one. And then they got the green one, was only at least in Japan. And yeah, this one has some pretty cool box art, just like that Mario Kart on. And this is the only other box Wii U I have. Then the current Wii U I have plugged in is a USA 32GB black Wii U. And this one came with, uh, when I bought it, it already pre installed had uh, Mario Kart on it. So you can see it has Mario Kart, uh, Super Mario 3D World. Actually, this is in a full version of that. And then Sonic Lost World. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this Wii U. Then I wanted to show you my other Wii U, which is this one right here. This is the another 32GB USA Wii U. And I have this case right here that I got from uh, Walmart for Christmas one year. And yeah, this is just another one. I put a DS pen in there because I don't have the actual stylus because everybody loses them. And I paid around um, 80 bucks for this one, including the gamepad and the console together. I paid 50 for the gamepad and I paid 30 for the console. Well, actually, I paid 15 for the console and the uh, other console that came with it that was wrecked, unfortunately. And yeah, that's pretty much all the Wii U's I own currently. I own two games. Let me show you those. Nintendo Land. This is a nice little game in here. And I want to show you the Wii U discs real quick. They uh, have this little, you'd have to feel it in person, but they have this little, uh, layer up on top, which is interesting, this one doesn't have much scratches on it, and um, the manual in Nintendo Land is actually really cool looking, well, you get this little Nintendo Land, what you can, other games you can get, like Sing Party, whoever plays Sing Party, um, and they translate the manual in a couple different languages, but you can see all the attractions, you know, the attractions for the game, and it tells you what we can play with them, and then it just has a different, different language. And the only other Wii U game I own is Wii Fit U. I don't actually have the balance board with this one. This is the, these are all USA games, they're not Japanese games. And, um, you get the guide, the manual guide. It, uh, in the guide you get, um, just tells you all of the games you can play in there, which is interesting. I don't really ever look at this one. This one, I overlooked this one. And then, ooh, you get an insert in here that says Club Nintendo. It, um, Back when Club Nintendo existed, we got all the points there and stuff to earn things. And then, interestingly enough, when I bought this one, it actually came with a uh, guidebook to the uh, balance board uh, object, which I have too much of. I need to get rid of them. <laughs> Nobody wants them. They're like paperweights. Um, yeah, and they're super hard to ship, too, because it costs your own, like, 10 to $20 to ship. Especially if I had to pick my favorite one I own currently, I would say Nintendo Network Premium Edition. This one is a very good Wii U because you get two games with it. And of course you get a Wii Remote and a sensor bar. And it's a nice little bundle. You can karaoke, you joy sell too. And so yeah, I'd say that's my favorite one out of all of them. Thanks for watching.